um, what's the nicest thing you've ever done for somebody? Um, I don't know. I don't know. See, it's hard to think like, dang, in my whole 25 years of life, what's the nicest thing I've done? I don't know. But um, I do remember one time I was working, this woman was at Salisbury. I was working at a company called Bay Runner Shuttle. And they, um, they transported people to and from BWI Airport. So this lady comes in, it was right about the time we were closing, so it's probably like nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, and she speak, I think she spoke French, and her ride wasn't there, she wasn't, she obviously wasn't from Salisbury. And <laughs> she didn't know, you know, what to do, where to go, whatever. And it was time for me to leave. But I was like, I'm not about to put this lady yeah. like out on the street. She doesn't speak English. She doesn't know mm -hmm. anything. So I sat at work for probably like an hour using Google Translate on the computer, trying to ask her like, where are you going? Who do you need to call? And I don't remember what, I don't remember how it happened, but eventually um, I spoke with the guy who was supposed to pick her up or something like that. In hindsight, this is very stupid. Um, I spoke with the guy who was supposed to pick her up and he gave me an address. So I was like, okay, I'll take you to this address, drop you off, whatever. Again, it's like 10 o'clock at night, so not very smart. Um, we get there and it's just like this dark ass house. It doesn't look like anybody's there. So I'm trying to like use the Google Translate on my phone now. Like, where's your ride? What's going on? And we're standing there for probably like, 10, 15 minutes. And then I didn't know what to do. And my response when I don't know what to do is call my dad. So I call my dad and I'm like, so I have this lady that I picked up from my job and she doesn't speak English and I don't know where she's supposed to be going. Like, can I drop her off at the police station or something? Like, where do I take her? And then of course my dad is like, wait, you did what? You're where? And I'm like, okay, I get it. Wasn't smart, but I need help now. And luckily in the process, the guy that was supposed to pick her up ended up showing up. So she was fine. But I was just like, bro, that was not smart. You could have oh easily God. got kidnapped and yeah, been she in sex like, trafficking. Uh -huh. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, oh, my God. Yeah, so that was cool. Um, well, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask you to tell me a story. It's going to go in the story section of the website. So about what? Like anything. anything. Oh god, this is gonna be okay. Um this is stupid. It's a stupid story and I'm surprised that I'm even sharing this story because when I was a kid and my parents or my sister would bring it up, I would always be like, Stop, like don't talk about that. But <laughs> it's literally the only thing I can think about. So I don't remember how old I was, but I let's just say I was like six or seven, right? Mm -hmm. And my, my dad was driving, my mom was in the front seat, my sister was next to me, I was sitting in the middle and I think my grandmother was on the other side of me. And we're stopped at a red light. And you know, I'm sitting there chilling, living my best life, and I feel <laughs> like this splat on my face. So like, I'm sitting there like, what, what is on my face? My mom, my dad turns around, they look at me and they all bust out laughing. And I'm just sitting in the back seat like crying, like why are you guys laughing at me? Like what's on my face? Turns out, while we were sitting at this light and my dad's window was like not even all the way down, but like cracked, somehow bird shit got on my face oh my <laughs> while I'm sitting in the middle of the car and like my parents and everybody are cracking up and I'm just crying like, get this shit off of me. Like it was, yeah, that's probably like, that should have been my most embarrassing story because that was a long time ago, but, but you like, still remember. And you know what's crazy though? I think I have bad luck because I think last year on vacation or the year before last, so recently, me, my mom, my dad, chilling on the beach, laying on a little chair. I hear, I feel like this split on my fucking face. And once again, first shit on my face. Like maybe, cause that's happened to me twice now. So maybe I just have like bad luck and birds just like- But I heard that's good luck. Is it? When a bird poops on you. I don't know where I heard that that's like supposed to be good luck, but. Oh, well, let's hope so, cause um, I mean, I haven't, I'm trying to think of anything like amazing happened after I got shit on my face, either the first or second time, but I don't think so. I think it was just like, I think it was just bad. I don't know, maybe it is good, like, I don't know. I don't know.